So I'm going to take one more. Oh, that sounds good. My name is Sana Kelly. I'm a Foley artist and owner of Royal Foley Sound. Sound is a really crucial part of any kind of media. To set in the mood, telling the story, you feel the emotion with sound. I'm always adding unique props. I don't know what it's used for, but I know it sounds great. Foley is everywhere in my life, always listening and always learning. Foley art derives its name from Jack Foley, a pioneer in the field of sound effects during the early 20th century. He introduced the practice of incorporating realistic, everyday sounds into films. When they're shooting movies, they want the set to be really quiet. Quiet on the set and action. So all the sounds you hear are recreated in the Foley stage like this one. All right, here we go. What is she gonna go for? <laughs> Anytime the actor walks, moves, so if they move their arm, I have to do the clock movement for that. Footsteps, everything from beginning to end. When we're walking outside, the magical thing that works beautifully is this beautiful coffee. I personally prefer medium roast. It has like a little dirt sound. We're paying attention to what is going on, the emotion that the actor is feeling at any given point. If you notice, when people are sad, they drag their feet a little bit. So I put a little scuff to it. When someone is sad and I'm going like this with my hand, it's gonna have like a little drag to it. If I'm happy and I'm excited, my hand is gonna have like a little upbeat to it. There's emotion behind fully, and that's why you can't, you know, AI it. <laughs> Had to throw that one in. <laughs> All our clients we love, we love all the projects, but some of the ones that stand out is like Ted Lasso, The Cleaning Lady. We also worked on Riverdale, The Walking Dead, Shameless. So we've done a lot of projects. Sometimes we say we go method, we use the actual prop that they're actually using. If not, you have to fake them. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do the sound of frying food. I don't know if you guys ever had these, but they're pretty delicious. You taste them, you feel good. You don't have to taste them, I'm just kidding. But you just put them in here, listen to this. I don't plan it too much ahead of time. Like when I stay creative, when I'm in my folly stage, I'm like, ooh, if I use this with this, that's gonna sound so great. But like little butterflies, little creepy little animal, little bugs. You know, funeral scenes are always really, really sad. It's really sad because we usually have to go to the dirt pit and dig their grave right here. When I'm in here, it's just my brain is always moving and turning, trying to, again, push the envelope, try to make something this much better. How can I make it better? If I add a little creak, a little this, a little that, to just make it just perfect. With AI, artificial intelligence, taking a lot of work in the movie business from writing to everything, there's definitely gonna be challenges for people that have zero budget and they don't care about sound. Those people are cutting fully now, so I don't think it's gonna change much for us. Anyone that cares about sound and cares about their project, they're gonna make sure there is a human touch to it. 
So the cell phone, a lot of people say, well, isn't that sound effects? Yes, the ringing is sound effects. The beep, beep, beep is sound effects. But anytime they touch the screen, that's folly. You have, you know, the directors, producers, movie makers spend millions of dollars to create their masterpiece. And for them to choose me and trust me with their project is just like such an honor. And I try to do my best to give them my best work and just go the extra mile just to make it that much perfect. I'm, I feel very lucky, I'm blessed.